So the Samsung Wallet application is a fairly popular app that's built in inside of every single Samsung phone for the most part, and I'll show you exactly how to use it. The first thing is, if you haven't ever opened up this app, when you first open it up, it is going to ask you for you know basically creating an account. So you may just want to go ahead and create that account you know for the very first stop. That might be the first thing you're going to want to do. When you make your way over into the application for the first time, it's going to give you a few things. One, it's going to give you into this perks panel. So it's going to have you give you a lot of different perks. Quick access, which will allow you to quickly access all of your cards and you know, things and passes and everything like that. And then you'll have all. So all will give you a bunch of different things all across here, which we'll talk about in a second. Now under perks, this particular panel is just going to show you basically how much ca cash back you have currently inside of this app and how many pending transactions you have as well. Now you'll also see a bunch of other like deals that are you know specifically for Samsung Wallet, which is actually pretty cool. So you can kind of go through here and just scroll through a bunch of different perks and stuff that you basically have. It really is a pretty cool thing. So you can kind of go through here, see exactly what type of perks and things that you like, and you can kind of choose whichever one you want. If you want one, you can just click on it. You can just enable it within here. And that is another option that you have if you're specifically using your Samsung Wallet app to basically pay. Now under quick access, like I mentioned, this will give you all your card information and everything like that. If you ever want to add a card, you can just click add. And you can choose all these different types of cards that you can basically choose from. If you want to go and add a payment card, you can choose here. You can add a payment card, which is like a credit card. You can add PayPal, Samsung Pay Cash, all this other stuff. Under memberships, you have a bunch of different things like gym memberships or other you know memberships across the board. Gift cards, coupons, digital keys, digital IDs as well. So if you're living in a state that gives you you know driver's license, state ID, you can go and input that or your student ID right within your phone. So this is where you can add in all that information, which is genuinely actually a very nice thing to have inside of this particular device. Now, you'll be able to access all that stuff right within here. Under all, this is where you can kind of see a little bit further of all that stuff that you have. So this is just going to give you all your payment cards and all that stuff, just like the tab we had before. You'll basically see that information right here again. Under Samsung Money by SoFi, if you're using Samsung Money, you can go and basically, you know, fill this up and you can actually earn 4.25% APY, which is actually really good. So, but it's, you know, offered by SoFi, so you can just make a SoFi account too if you want to. If you have any transit cards, so if you live in an area that basically takes subway cards or anything like that, you can go and add in your transit card here too, which is another option. And then you can have things like Samsung Pass and you know private information and promotions if you ever have any of those things. So this is a really nice little page too. Now if you tap in the top right corner, you can then get two different panels, partners and settings. If you tap on settings, this is going to give you a little bit of a panel that's going to show you exactly your Samsung panel, which is really important. So you can have account and syncing. If you want to change your Samsung account or anything like that, you can go and change that within this page. You have quick access as well. If you want to quickly do a swipe up gesture on your lock screen to quickly get into your Samsung wallet, you can enable that. So you can change exactly what it is if you just want to swipe up. You can enable your Samsung wallet this way. Your membership lock screen as well, which is right there. You can change your verification method if you want to do two-factor authentication or if you want to do a code or whatever it is. You have that type of capability. Then you have your privacy controls, in-app deal alerts, which I usually just turn this off, but you can you know, turn it on if you want to. You can manage your different devices, permissions, and profiles that you have. And at a high level, that's kind of what you can do on your particular device. That's essentially you know, how to use the Samsung Wallet application. I'd also recommend keeping your phone up to date because your Wallet app will basically update as your phone application updates. So go inside of your settings, go into software update, download and install your updates. And that's another thing I'd recommend doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.